Hello, this is Cass Baloo, and welcome to Let's Play Golden Sun! Let's Gamble Edition! I decided we're gonna do the game tickets first. To keep up the suspense for the Lucky Medals, I guess. Uh, plus also, truth be told, I don't really care too much about the game tickets. They are basically infinite. And... You don't really get anything that's too great from this game. This is the difference between tickets. Now, I have 30, so I'm thinking 3 is a good number. Then I can play 10 times. Okay... Let's see... Well... Uh, I kind of wish I was doing four, because I have nearly have a thing in the mi three in the middle. Um... Hmm... Well, I don't wa really want the heart. I want the ring. I want- the two ones I want are the ring and the moon, and a little bit the boots, I guess. Those are the most useful ones. Let's try locking the rings. Okay, well, we didn't get any more rings. That's unfortunate. Let's try it again. Uh, now we have three boots, though. Oh, no, that's... There we go. Hmm. We have two rings, but we still have three boots. So, let's go with those. Hey, we got four in a row! Fur boots. Which... Boost resistance, or boost defense, and water. And... I don't have any boots. Which is why the which is why you want rings and why you want boots because they those two item slots are not sold in shops, so anything you get that goes into one of those slots, you can always y use even if it's not great. Uh, like this. Let's say you have water resistance on your armor, right? You do. In that case, let's go ahead and give this to. Uh, let's give it to Ivan. Okay then. Now, this is basically how the gambling goes. I think I'll show it one more time after this, otherwise I'll probably just cut to the end and show you everything I got. I think that's the best way to do this. So... Yes, I do. I still think this is a good amount. Like, this is more likely to win, but... I can play more times this way. Okay, so... I really want that, those rings. Although... Wow. Um, I almost have another pair of boots. So I kind of want to go for that. This is the sort of game where you should usually go for the lowest, uh... Well, the thing you're most likely to get, basically. Nope. And right now, I'm most likely to get boots. Nope, didn't get anything. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off here. I'll show you at the end everything I won. Okay, 
a round of gambling later, and I'm done! Sort of. I mean, I didn't get everything I wanted, to be honest, but I got a pretty good haul. First of all, I got a complete set of boots. Which is, say, one for everyone. Ivan, at, well, I'll cover the other stuff first, actually. I got two rings, a war ring, which uses boost attack power, and a sleep ring, which puts enemies to sleep. The, the rings, these are not really great rings, to be honest, but there's something. However, this is really handy because I can replace my elven mantle with it. I'm not sure I want to because it'll make Maya even faster than Isaac, but I can. Uh, I can also actually I can replace anything with this. It's slightly better than all of my armor somehow. That's a little weird. Wait. Wait a second. Does this count as armor? It doesn't! It's under armor! Wow, that's even better than I thought it was! Okay, I am gonna give that to Garrett then, because he's way too slow for his own good. Uh, we'll give this to Maya. And we... You know, I'm gonna sell the sleep ring. It is useless. Anyway, I, was, the, I got fur boots for Ivan and Maya. I have hyper boots for Isaac, for that critical power, and for Garrett, I have quick boots to boost his agility. So he has two agility boosting items, and he's still slower than Maya. Well, that's not really completely fair. Maya has a really good agility boosting item, but even so. I'd also like to point out, because this is something I mentioned earlier, right now, I am carrying a whole bunch of equipped items, a little bit of consumables, and oh hey, the healing ring. I don't really need that anymore, but you know, let's give it to you. But yeah, I'm carrying some consumables, which I'm going to sell some of them actually, because I don't need her herbs anymore. Uh, and they use up too much space. Anyway, my, my point is, I have highly contested inventory space. Now then, let's sell that stuff. I don't need any of these. You see, these aren't even worth very much. Yeah, this is worth a decent amount. Anyway. Anyway. Okay, so apparently the ticket machine is, gives you better stuff than I thought. Well, not better so much as more useful. Because they're about at the power level I was expecting. I just... I didn't realize so much of it was like those rare items that don't overlap. But... Now, now is time for the Lucky Metal, which means it's time to save first. Because the thing with the Lucky Metals is everyone counts. More so than the tickets. And this is somewhere that I would recommend you reload if you don't get a good item. Because you are highly uh, limited in how many luck of metals you actually get. You see, that's not a very good spot. I don't know if that's a good item. Actually. Is it a- well, anyone can use that. Um, it's not a very good item. Well, it's not a terrible one, but we can do better. Well, let's just see. It might be worth keeping. Uh, well, that's a better land and it landed spot anyway. 
If you're completely out of the circle, usually you just get like a a synergy star. Okay, Adept Helmet is pretty good. It boosts our uh, synergy, I think. It might be regeneration. In any case, it's pretty good. Oh, that's that's really bad. And yet we got that. Um, okay, so I need to show that off, actually. First of all, I'm sort of surprised I got that, because it was far enough out we shouldn't have. But here's the thing with this. It looks like it's really good. However, you notice it has that red outline around it? That usually means the item is cursed. Uh, which I can't actually test without putting it on in this game. Uh, yeah, this does boost PP. That's pretty good. This is cursed, right? I don't really want to pay to dig to remove it if it is. Hmm. Whatever. Let's just play all of these. Then I'll evaluate my haul after I have I've done the whole thing. Then if it's something that's not very good. Then I'll reload, because honestly, I don't care that much. Oh, we got it right in the middle, so this should be a really good item. Okay, that is actually a really good sword. It may also be cursed, though. Um, so, you know, that's a little iffy. Oh, that's, that's not bad. Oh, I know... You know, we can use two add-up helms, actually. A, set a third one would be totally worthless, but two is fine. Uh, I have no idea if that's any good. Aw, oh, man, that's, that's not it. Another- oh. A mace? Okay, well I know that's not very good. Uh... Could be okay. I don't remember- I, th I think that's decent armor. And last one. Middle? Uh, that might count. Okay, that is actually one of the w ones I wanted. Okay, now let's look at everything together. Um, Spirit Armor, huge defense boost. And resist, yeah, that's really good. Uh, that's better than I thought it was, actually. Because this prevent- well, only Maya can use this, so it's not really great. But, because it does prevent a status effect, it means it's not terrible either. Uh, as I said, having two and exactly two of these is actually pretty good. I'm positive this is cursed, so I'm not going to actually use it, but I'm probably going to want to hold on to it. This- if this is not cursed, and I don't remember, then it's actually pretty good. This is really good, though. Uh, not as good as I remembered. Huh. Well, it still has a really powerful Unleash. So, I think I'm gonna keep this. It's not ideal, but it's pretty good. And I can finally get rid of the Synergy Armor, too, now that I have replaced it. Uh, yep. Let's see, give that to Maya. Uh, um. Huh. I'm surprised that's a, such a big boost for these two, to be honest. Um. I think this is actually better for Garrett, because I'm quite certain that this act, the 
unleashed on this axe is fire-based, which means it'll deal more damage if Garrett uses it. Uh, although usually not, although usually that doesn't make a huge difference. Um, I don't know. It depends who I want to give this to, really. Ooh, and the mace. You know, you know, I think that, yeah, Maya can actually use this mace. Uh, 13, 17. Okay, I'm gonna give this to Isaac. Although, the axe is a better weapon. In theory. Anyway. <laughs> but, I think the synergy alignment on these weapons match up better this way. And... Let's see, you have the dragon shield. Do you even need the dragon shield? Uh... Not really. You have the spirit armor. But no one else can use the Dragon Shield. Um... Hmm. That's eight. That's nine. Hmm... That is... Tw Eleven. You know, I should give this to you, but I'm going to give it to Ivan, I think. Because I'm also going to give Ivan the Assassin's Blade. Assume it's not... Oh, it's actually totally stronger. Well, that's not too surprising, actually. The Assassin's Blade is incredibly powerful. Mortal Danger, by the way. It's unleashed. It has the chance to instantly kill whatever it hits, as long as they aren't, you know, immune to it. Uh, and the way that works in this game, the only thing that is completely immune to that sort of thing are a few bosses. Most bosses are resistant enough to it that they may as well be immune, but... Well, even so, anyway, it's a really, really, really good sword. Um, for everyone. <laughs> you know, I get the most out of this if I give this to Ivan. It boosts his power more. Or no, let me start try that, saying that again. It's better weapons for either of them, but Ivan gets the largest... Actually, Garrett gets an equal boost out of it. But Ivan can't use Garrett's axe, is the thing. Okay, I'm gonna equip this just to show what will happen. Wait, what? It's not cursed? I thought for sure that was cursed! Huh. Well. Well then, that's surprising. Okay, what the hell am I gonna do with this? Uh, obviously not gonna be given to either of them. I could give it to you, but you're fast enough. I want to give it to Garrett, but I'd rather have the Synergy Helmet on him. Excuse me. As I think I've increased his speed enough at this point. Eh, you know, it's o total overkill on Ivan, but why not? I don't want to give it to Maya just because I don't want her faster than Isaac. Okay, now I need to go sell a lot of stuff. But we have finished all the gambling content for now. We'll probably have one more splurge near the end, where we come back to Tolby at the end of the game to do, like, specifically to do the gambling stuff. But until then, we're done with it. Uh, wait. I need to double check to make sure Maya can't use that. Because I think it's better than her current it is. Okay then, uh, anyway, I'm just gonna sell this stuff then I'm gonna be done, because I did tell you we'll be in Tolby for a while, it's a big place and there's a lot to do, even without having to go through all this, all this noise, you know? I should probably double check that axe, but I'm pretty sure I don't, 
I'm pretty sure my current weapon on Garrett is better. And there we go. And we have more money than when we started. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. I really could have sworn that ninja thing was cursed, though. Usually when an item has a red outline that outline like that, it means it's cursed. But apparently not always. Man, that's weird. Whatever. Whatever. We are done. So, until next time, when we finally get real things done in... No, we're done with this. When we finally get real things done in Tolby, like figuring out that thing about ba Babby, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun with Chaos Blue, and have a good day.